Stupid bitch. I had already been on Mars World TV. Shout out to Brother Sahaka Bay. Again, I appreciate him letting me be on his show. But I was, I said, this is my friend. Let me keep up with what's going on with her because they lying on her. Let me keep up with everything. This bitch, Haposhanana, was in the chat arguing with her, going off on the saying all kind of shit to her. Yeah, she was in the chat going in. So I jumped on the panel. So let me let this play. Uh, Shada. I'm not calling you all kinds of sluts and whores now, Napa Shada. I, I don't condone slut shaming of women and girls, period. I don't care what was sent. I don't care what new picture was sent. Nobody had the right to put that shit all up on the world wide web for everybody's consumption and for everybody's criticism and ridicule. Yes, we have Sister Nandy. I just want to make sure that she was just echoing, so I just wanted to close out the window that she had behind her. You close it out, Sister Nandy? I sure did. Okay, cool, man. What's going on? Welcome to the platform. This is what it's all about. It's about us um, coming up here. So I'm not here to attack nobody. I'm not here to do that. I'm here because um, a lot of people to lift their voices, you know what I mean? And um, from there, we get into whatever it is from there. So what is? what do you have to say? about anything that's going on. I want to say shout out to my boy Uda. Shout out to one, one, to one commander. Spell with the K. He opened his panel up multiple times for us to address issues that had something to do with fucking Sister Noble. Even the interview that we did with her and Black Summer. This is just an ungrateful bitch. So let me let this play. Shout out to one community. Please go like, share, and subscribe. K-E-M-M-U-N-I-T-Y. K-E-M-M-U-N-I-T-Y. Please go and go, go to Uda Block also. Please go and subscribe to his channels. Or whatever is the case. Links in the chat. First of all, I want to appreciate you allowing me on the show. What's good, Sister Noble? Hey, let me, let me go on, sweetie. Let me say so, because I ain't thinking, and I know you really don't like cussing on here, but see, some people, you have to check their ass for they say it. When you did it with a sore rat, that's how you got to talk to them. First of all, no part of the line on a lot of sisters, including me. This bitch keep talking about she got records. You've been on everybody's show. Talking about you got recordings on Sister Noble. You got all these documents on everybody else. Bitch, I'm asking you live, where the fucking receipts for nothing? Where the receipts at for nothing? See, that's why you ain't saying shit to me, because you already know what it is. And I ain't got to go through all that on this motherfucking live, because I'm gangster for real. But you keep up too much shit. You a sore rat bitch trying to live in another woman's motherfucking fantasy, chasing a roach head, crack infested ass, AIDS infested ass nigga, and you causing everybody to have problems on these fucking panels. You done been on everybody's panel. It's funny. Me, Sister Noble, all the sisters you had something to say about Queen's Throne, all the brothers, all of us get along except for you, bitch. You, bitch, you the only person that has a problem with every fucking body. Ain't no way in the hell, you Jezebel whoremonger, that you can be on everybody's panel and everybody wanted you or everybody wanted Sarnell. Don't nobody want now one of y'all nasty ass because we already know the venom, the poison venom has been playing. That's why you ain't been showing your face, your jaws over there sinking in. You didn't know what you were getting yourself into. The only groupie that's on these fucking shows is you. None of the other sisters has been known to go through no motherfucking desert to come all the way down here for a New York fake-ass city hustle. 
Nobody has done that with you. All of us has been around Sot Needle before you. And ain't none of us came up on Sot Needle. So why the hell we want to know? Bitch, the only person who want him is you. You're an insecure white bitch. Excuse my language, but that's what you are. Like you call it everybody niggas. Niggas, niggas. I don't even understand how nobody can see her characteristics. You try to stand on the toilet. That's why you going through so much hell. You don't pray it on your high wall. You don't sit up here and lie on everybody. You going from post, post to post, keeping up shit. And all you getting is your wrath. I warned your ass. A lot of us pray this. And since you sat up there and lied on 90, y'all are in that playhouse house coming down right now. You can drop whatever you want to in that check because you already know 90. Don't read your bitch ass like the rag of the book you eat. I'm sick of you going on everybody's panels, downgrading these sisters. Sister Nova, I understand that y'all be with all the wah wah, but I'm with all the fuck shit. I'm with all the fuck shit. So I can appreciate you not getting out of character, but this bitch don't push one too many buttons for me. You got so much fucking mouth, you get on everybody else's panel. Bitch, the link in the motherfucking chat. Jump your ass up here and let's talk. I've been waiting to catch your bitch ass in somebody's chat. Well, you can't block me, or you can't give me the opportunity to say what I got to say. Now, you such a wretched bitch, you think you got that right? Bitch, get up here and let's go pass some fucking facts. Slut, break it, asshole. Because you did the same thing to them what you did to me. I was on that panel. I was minding my business and been around Sarnetta for years. Never, ever came up on this brother. And you sat up there and lied, and I'm going to get your ass for that when you slander my name. What the documents say or the emails or the texts is why I told you something was wrong with my womb, bitch. Huh? Every text you showed that I was telling you you were Jezebel to quit fucking with that married man. You even went live and told everybody I was going off on you for fucking with that married man. I learned a long time ago, you are with the fuck you hang with. And I don't hang with hoe bitches, slut fucking ass motherfuckers like you. Now I'm going to calm the cursing down, but I had to read this bitch where she at. I can't stand no gutter, less than all the women that's on the panel are coming up on this shit talking about everybody. Don't type in the fucking chat. Get your ass on this panel. That's why I want you in. Let's see what your response is going to be. Bitch, you sending him emails with recordings of Sister Noble. Where the fuck your receipts at on that? That Nandy wanted to go to the hotel with Sign Now. No, Nandy was going to check your bitch ass when you got to Atlanta. And just like you do now, hide behind these cameras with your FBI ass. Talking about somebody gonna catch a case. Bitch, you work for simple matter the way you write your motherfucking mouth. I don't give a fuck about that shit because you got real street people out here that'll tap your ass. Now I'm gonna ask you again, be the woman that you claim you is to get your bitch ass on the panel with Nundy like you get on the panel with everybody else. I'll wait, bitch. And bring your motherfucking receipts. You know, we stayed on that show for two or three days. She never came up there with no documents on me. And the bullshit she said on Sister Noble was some whack ass bullshit. That's what made me start defending Sister Noble. And that's one reason why that bitch don't say shit else. But now your ass been thrown to the wolves, bitch. I ain't got, I, I'm never defending you again. I don't give a fuck what go on. See, I'm not like everybody else. If y'all notice, if I've been on a panel that I felt was disrespectful or I've been around some people on YouTube I don't see eye to eye with or it just didn't work. I don't come over here and make a thousand videos about default. There's a lot of people that I just don't fuck with no more on YouTube. No disrespect to nobody, and then I just realized we all in different lines. I ain't come over here making no video of shit, but you know that y'all don't see me going to a lot of people, a lot of panels. I, I, I practice the company that I keep now. It ain't no disrespect to nobody. It's just that when you start analyzing your shit and you move away from the problem, the problem will expose they self. I learned that a long time ago. In these YouTube streets, I see it's a lot of people that will jump bandwagons or turn on motherfuckers and talk about people indirectly, shit like that. And then before they know it, they be done shitting on the person who will die with them the most. 
But when you all back and forth going through it, arguing, trying to prove point, can't get nowhere like that. So that's why I separate myself from the bullshitters. And eventually, everybody who shitted on me or turned on me for them, they realized the bullshit. They, they started seeing who it really was. Instead of going back and forth, you ain't got to do all that. When a motherfucker say something to me, I respond. That's the, you don't see me got there talking every day about the same shit. I try to move on to something else, but these motherfuckers won't let you. Because, see, your name is something that you're supposed to make. And however you make it is what your reputation end up being. And when your reputation ain't shit, then your respect level and nothing else ain't shit. So it's important to me how people look at me or how they reference me, especially when I'm someone out here that's helping my community. We got enough scammers and backstabbers and shit already out here. So I don't want to be labeled as that. I'm not trying to be in that category. So it's important for me to keep my name and my face clean. And out of all these motherfuckers on these panels, ain't neither one of these bitches been able to produce none of the lies with no evidence or no proof of nothing crossing them out and doing nothing wrong. Not one of them. Show me. My chat smart. Y'all watch everything just like I do. Show me one of them. But everybody I don't seem to separate myself from, they got a lot of beef with a lot of people. I'm still cool with everybody. Make that shit make sense to me. But I also learned some valuable in this. Uh, the people I never thought would turn on me, the people I thought would never backstab me or do me dirty, the main ones. The main ones you have to watch. Although me and Cynthia G and all these people, we don't see eye to eye. They saw my mind and they just like I am. You would think that whatever you consider your beef or the enemies will be the ones that come after you. It ain't like that. It's the motherfuckers you think you can trust the most. Then they get mad and then they emotions and then they bitch ass feelings and come out here and tell a bunch of lies and fabrications and then try to tell all your personal business and all that old weak ass shit. I don't do that. I attack motherfuckers with what they say on their own self. I don't go out there and make up shit on nobody. I just researched the person. Because a motherfucker who ain't trill, they don't talk too much in the goddamn way. Y'all don't hear me getting all on live and shit talking about what the fuck gangsta I done did. That just dry snitching on myself. Y'all don't see me all up in the camera trying to be seen. You know why I talk behind this avatar? Because people who can listen to me and they learn something, that's important to me. When you got to just look at a person all the time, you really ain't learning that you got something else on your mind. When you got people that really listen and they learn something and you come with good content, you ain't got to goddamn have your face all up in the camera all the time. I don't do that. See, that's them groupie bitches. That's them bitches trying to be had. That's these bitches looking for men on YouTube. These bitches ain't got a house of respect for themselves. So they want to get cute every day and pin their hair on us and put their makeup on and put their big, they, the best push-up bra they got on in the house. And I ain't trying to be hate. I'm the motherfucker that you might not have ever seen, but I bet you done heard about me. I bet you done did that. So that's how this important to me. As long as you done heard about this shit. And it was trivial information and you learned something from it. A real motherfucker who about their life ain't got time to always be on camera. A motherfucker written about revolution, we ain't trying to be seen like that. Bitch, they told you all the way back in the goddamn 60s, the revolution would never be televised. So real revolutionary, we ain't all up in the goddamn camera all day trying to be seen. We trying to get a message out. We trying to teach our people. That's what we doing. We ain't trying to deal with all that other